Jeff Pro's BFF. It's the show, baby. What's up, Jeff? How have you been, man? Send me a shirt. Send me, send me a hat or something. You don't know who I am yet. It, it's okay. Really, it's okay. You'll get to know me pretty soon. But anyway, um, yeah, getting you guys on another video. Uh, we're just going to talk a little bit about Michaela in the situation that she didn't see the advantage. Okay, if you watched the show last week, you seen day 20, uh, challenge, I think the challenge was day 25, and Michaela didn't get picked for the challenge that, uh, for the reward challenge, and she had to sit out. Eventually she rooted for Sari, but nobody picked her. Sari was a captain and she still didn't pick Michaela. So basically she was left to sit there and not get no food and she's really upset. And um, the whole time she's bummed out and she doesn't notice that the advantage was sitting there. I don't blame Michaela for this. Is it because I'm rooting for Michaela? That's part of it, yeah. But the other part is too, you know, you have to remember, you know, that's a that's taking a huge blow to your heart, right? You've been she's been starving for a while now. She wants to get some food. She wants some of that like everybody else. She wants to be fed. You know, it, it gets to you. You know, one thing I have to learn about Survivor. One thing we have to realize about Survivor: if you haven't played it, you can't judge. That's why I apologize to Jeff. I know a lot of people, you know, bummed out about me apologizing to Jeff Arner, but I don't care because I have to realize, you know, it's a different game. And Michaela shared that on on her Facebook page. Uh, T would Michaela be? She said the same thing, like, you don't understand what you're gonna do when you're in that situation where you're starving and uh, you're going through all these different emotions with the game. It can be overbearing. And um, it was almost like that whole that whole segment was just set up for Michaela because it really personified how detrimental your personal anger can be in the game. You have to keep a clear head, but how do you do that when you're starving? How do you do that when your emotions are overflowing? Well one thing one tip that you guys can start using is i talked about this in the last video about being vulnerable you're gonna have to start talking to people you're gonna have to really start opening up to somebody okay and getting those demons out whatever it is on your mind if it's your family if it was the way you were raised if you grew up you had to sell drugs just to make it or if you grew up you had to you know do evil things you know whatever it is whatever it is on your mind that makes you that that hard rock that you are that makes you be able, be able to play the game really you know those 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 things define define you and you know if you can get some of those frustrations off your chest even if it's not things about your childhood or your past whatever it is communicate with other people find somebody in the beginning of the game that you know you can talk to and talk those things out and that'll help ease some of the some of the pain that you go through because if you let it bundle up you know your anger can blind you and it blinded Michaela so you know, like I said, I felt like it was set up just for Michaela because uh, she's the one person that you know that would happen to that she wouldn't see that advantage. You know, I believe if that was obviously, I think if it was like somebody like Sierra, uh, if I think if it was Ty, somebody like that, somebody who's, you know, always observing everything, they probably would have saw it. And uh, yeah, that's very unfortunate for Michaela. But you know what? I spoke enough on this topic, but really think about that. Really, really start thinking now about how you're going to be able to control your emotions in this game, because it is not easy to do. My name is Dimitri Green. You know what? That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy this tonight's show. I know I'm going to enjoy it. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. We do this every day. We talk about this stuff all the time. And even if I miss days, I'm going to make them up with more videos anyway. So that's my time. I'll see you guys in the next video. Jeff Pro's BFF, and I'm out of here.